All around me are familiar faces Worn out places Worn out faces <laughs> Skyler and I are gonna go shopping Look at how orange the moon is. This is Ross and Kato Vlogs. We both travel the whole world and stuff. Okay, maybe one of us is studying in Oregon and the other one's in Germany. Still try to connect through the magic of YouTube. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I was just making a song. Uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff happened this week. So on Wednesday, I signed up for my classes and went to orientation and all that stuff. Went pretty well. Uh, went with mom. Little tour around the campus and looking at all new classes and stuff. Um, pretty exciting. On Saturday, I went shopping with Skylar again. And she got some, like, interview clothes and new clothes just for, like, school and stuff. I helped her pick stuff out, I guess. Um, I didn't record that because I thought that would be weird. And then I went over to Zex and played board games for nine hours. And I didn't record that either because like, his cousins were there and I don't know them very well. Yeah, basically he was doing this thing where he and his cousins wanted to play like every single board game that they own. So, uh... That took like three days. I don't know if he finished all of them. I haven't followed up on that. I only helped a little bit. Helped. I'm sure the more players there are, the longer it takes, but whatever. It was really fun. Monday, Labor Day, uh, we all went over to Grandpa's farm and had like a campfire roasted weenies and marshmallows. It's a shame you aren't around for these family gatherings anymore. Feels like just two months ago you were here to enjoy all of these family gatherings on Tuesday, which would be yesterday, um, when this comes up, hopefully. I watched the entire first season of Steven Universe. I have a problem. That's like 15 hours. Now I'm gonna do a weird thing. You'll see in five seconds. I thought I'd make some predictions about the next few years because predictions about the future are always really fun to look back on. For example, I predict in 2019 that we're gonna elect a Democrat as president. See, it, a after, after the election happens, that'll be a fun prediction to look back on. I have some I have some better ones planned, don't worry. In 2019, I predict that I will graduate from OSU. That's what I'm supposed to graduate. So, I hope that one comes true. In 2019, How to Train Your Dragon 3 is supposed to be released. So, I predict I will watch that in theaters. I hope I do. I really like the first two. <laughs> I predict in 2020 that there will be a new, cheaper smartphone alternative to Apple 
and Android. I predict The Elder Scrolls VI will be released in 2020, uh, and I predict it's gonna be about the High Elves. That's my prediction. In 2021, I predict that The Sims 5 will be released, and no one will like it, but everyone will buy it anyway. I predict that, like, really wide pants will come back in fashion, like Av Avril Lavigne style wide pants. I just want them to come back in fashion. I also predict that in 2021, I will meet my future spouse. <laughs> Who knows? I'll be... Oh gosh, how old will I be in 2021? I'll be 24? Could happen. In 2022, I predict that the PlayStation 5 will be released alongside the Xbox 2. <laughs> in 2023, I predict that at that point, every single movie will have become a superhero movie, because I've noticed that the number of superhero movies has accelerated over the past years, to the point where, by 2023, every movie will be a superhero movie. <laughs> I also think that a Republican will be elected in 2023. That That's my prediction. It's going to be um, Donald Trump, some Democrat, some Republican. In 2024, I predict that we're going to be eating some different species of banana. Remember back in like the 50s or something, there was some species of banana that uh, almost went extinct, so because of like some mold or virus that killed all of them off, so we had to convert to some other banana that was resistant to that disease that apparently tasted different. So I predict in 2024 we will move on to some new banana, either because one of them went extinct or some- I don't know. We're just due for a new banana. I have no idea what will happen to music genres within the next 10 years, but I think by 2025 they will have reached a new level of electroniciness. Um, I don't, I don't even know, some synthetic sounds or something that we don't have yet. It'll be something so mass appeal. I don't know. I don't know what new music's gonna sound like. <laughs> I can just imagine it'll be like dubstep taken to the next level. I also predict that a computer will be able to generate like top 100 hit songs by 2025 without any like human intervention we'll just be able to tell a computer to make hit songs and it'll be able to do it because I think computer learning is improving so much. We'll have like really advanced AIs that are able to do that. I think by 2026 uh, we'll have like different culture centers I guess because I feel like in the 1990s it was really like Seattle and stuff that were like the big culture centers with like the grunge movement and all that and like nowadays in the 2010s it's a little bit like uh san francisco i'd say is a huge culture center and a little bit portland even like portland sort of culture has entered the world stage so i think some up-and-coming cities that uh, we wouldn't even think of becoming popular will be big deals by, you know, the 2020s. So, I don't know, like, Cape Town, for instance, might be a really big deal. Maybe even Singapore. 
I, I hear Singapore is a pretty poppin' place. It also helps that these places are uh, English-speaking, so I'm gonna say Cape Town and Singapore are gonna be uh, the cool places to be in 2026. And now it is the year 2027. 100 terabyte hard drives are cheap and common in all computers. Machines and AI have caused significant unemployment in the world. Typing LOL is a very old person thing to do. The global powers still haven't entered a major war since World War II. The world population is 8.25 billion. Where are you in 2027? 2027 is going to be a weird year and a weird time. I'm going to be a male age 30 to 34 which will be the most common demographic in the United States. So, I don't know. It's gonna be weird. How do you think I did on my predictions? Do you think you'd be able to do better predictions? Do you think I did okay? Do you like my predictions? I, I kinda want you to do one of these as well. Sort of say, uh, what you think the next few years will be like and where you'll be because I don't know where I'll be in 2027. Probably living at large in Cape Town. It's gonna be a boppin' place in 2027. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I'll have a cool job. And who knows, maybe I'll be a cool uncle. I guess I'll see you on Saturday.